God bless you. It's me, Pastor Lynn, again. You're watching Retro. We're into a new year, and this program today is going to help you excel this year. We're into a 21-day fast, and I'm going to give you instructions on how you can be a part of this fast. Yeah, fasting and prayer and giving is the formula that allows God to move actively in your life. That's it. Fasting, praying, giving. Are you ready for a change in 2015? Do you want the supernatural glory of God to be evident in your life? Do you want to see a breakthrough that you've been waiting for in 2014? Do you want to see the fulfillment of the promises of God? Well, this is what causes it to happen. A serious time here at Fort Myers Christian Outreach Center. We people gather together every night from six to seven. We're fasting, we're praying, we're giving, we're giving our first fruits, and we're seeing the manifestation of breakthrough miracles in our homes. Don't be excluded, be included. Get on the bandwagon with us and see God give you a year, prepare you for a year, your best year so far. We have a great program for you. Get a pen, get a a piece of paper, get ready to take notes, and it's going to be an interesting program. But before that, watch the Shabbat ministry. It's going to absolutely turn you upside down as we see Shabbat giving us a phenomenal hope. Greater is here. For it's all to run. It has to go through the shaking, the beating, and the pressing. And just like the olive, some of you may have felt like you've gone through the shaking, the beating, and the pressing. You went through all of that for your all to flow. Now your greater is coming. If it had not been for the shaking, I never would have been ready for the making. No. For the beating, I would have never knew how anointed I would be. Oh, yeah. If it had not been for the pressing, I wouldn't be able to walk into my destiny. He's preparing me, preparing me, preparing. Shaking in the spirit, I feel a beating in the spirit. Oh, I feel a brushing in the spirit, preparing me for greater. I feel a shaking in the spirit. Oh, I feel a beating in the spirit. Oh, yeah, I feel a breath.
Rushing in the spirit, preparing me for greater. Jesus is our teacher. Now, this fast is not the denial of food, but it's a tool given by God to bring you to another level. Are you ready to go to another level? Say, yes, pastor. There are three things that are very important during these next 21 days. And in Matthew 6, we read them. Matthew 6, 2 tells us, Thus, whenever you give to the poor, do not blow a trumpet before you, mm. as the hypocrites in the synagogues and in the streets like to do, that they may be recognized and honored and praised by men. Truly, I tell you, they have the reward in full already. So whenever you, what's that next word? Give. Back, go back. Whenever you. Give to the poor. Okay, so the first thing is give. Okay. Somebody say give. Yeah. Second is, is Matthew 6, 5. Also, when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets that they may be seen by people. Truly, I tell you, they have their reward in full already. So that fourth word is pray. 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 Somebody say it. Pray. So it's give. Say give. Give. Next is pray. Pray. And the third one in, in Matthew 6, 16 tells us. And whenever you are fasting, do not look gloomy or, and sour 
and drearily like the hypocrites. For they put on a dismal countenance that their fasting may be apparent to and seen by men. Truly, I say to you, they have their reward in full already. Now, three things. Give, pray, and fast. And you are to look your very best in the next 21 days. You've got to especially make sure that your breath is okay. Because when you don't eat, you know, you get a, a film on your tongue. You professionals out of here know that. And what happens? Your stomach gets ugly and, and your breath stinks. You have to be very mindful to take a mint. He has provided you, child of God, in Ephesians 6 with the equipment that you need to fight every battle. Well, you know, Pastor, I, I really don't like the battles. Well, whether you like them or not, they're out there. But if you're equipped and you're a man and a woman of the word and the sword is always in your hand, which is the word of God, you could lop off the head of that giant before he even gets close to you. Is somebody hearing me? That's called preventative praying. You pray the blood of Jesus around you. You pray the blood of Jesus on your family. You pray the blood of Jesus on your finances. You pray the blood of Jesus on your business. That's preventative praying. That's protected by the Lord. Protecting for you, your family, your children, your grandchildren, and your children yet to be. Because no weapon formed against you will prosper because God is on your side. Say no weapon formed against me, my family, my finances, my children, my grandchildren will prosper. God's got my back. Say, God has got my back. Amen. Next, in verse 9, then you will call and I will answer. Then you will call and I will answer. If he's answering you, he's speaking to you. But if you're busy, you don't hear. Your hearing will be very sensitive during this fast. You'll hear. Most importantly, get yourself in the dollar store, a composition book, and start writing every day if you don't have a fancy journal. A composition book is easy. Just start writing. And as he speaks to you, just write it down. One day after the other, one day after the other, I will be uh, sending you a message each day. Just a little exhortation to you, emailing you. I don't know if I'm going to Facebook it, but I'm probably email it over to you. What the Holy Spirit has shared with me in the morning, I will share with you. Are you ready for that? Are you willing to open your email? Do I have your email? How many get the email blast from me? How many don't get the email blast? How many don't know what an email blast is? If I, you're not getting my email blast, it's because I don't have your email address. Okay, so you might want to just take a piece of paper before you leave and leave it at the resource counter, and you will hear from me every day as to what God tells me in the morning. I will pass it on to you. How many will give us your email address? Yeah, just, just don't forget it. Give it to us at the counter. Usually... When you first come here, we get all that information, but sometimes you don't give us the email, and so you, you sort of miss out. But don't miss out. Say, I'm not going to miss out. Amen. You need answers. How many need some answers in your life? You know, should I, should I buy that car? Shouldn't I, should I buy that house? Should I move? Should I stay? Should I take that trip? Should I not take that trip? How many know God is for you, and he will lead you into the right path? But you've got to be willing. That means you have to have an ear to hear what he's trying to tell you. Next, you will cry and he will say, here am I. We said that this morning. Jesus, here I am. I'm right here. When you fast, his presence envelops you. You're in a little bubble with him. And next, he takes away the yokes of oppression. That's in verse 9. He takes away the yokes of oppression. Oppression is something that presses in around you. It's a bad habit. It's a fear. It's an anxiety. It's an addiction. It could be anorexia. 
It could be bulimia. Whatever it is, he will take away. He can break in 21 days the yoke of oppression. How many know people that are bound in those areas? You can pray for your friends, your family, your colleagues, and that can be broken through the power of your fasting and prayer. God will give you that power. Amen? We also have, we also have our healing room, which the, the Gonses were so appreciative of Bruce and Amy who have the healing room here. And if you are oppressed, if you feel bound, it's a Holy Spirit meeting. It's a meeting with the Holy Spirit. And the Gonses are there to orchestrate as oracles. If you feel you're bound and, and your mind is oppressed and, and you, you're fearful or you're anxious or you just can't get up off the ground, you need to call the office and we make an appointment with the Gonses who will lead you into freedom. Lead you into freedom. Isn't that phenomenal? And of course, Healing Streams on Wednesday night keeps you free. So there are avenues for you to take during this fast. But you've got to make up your mind. Say, I've got to make up my own mind. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I've got to make up my own mind how I'm going to do this thing. Fasting keeps you sensitive to the Spirit. Now in Romans 12, 1 and 2 we read, hope you're writing all these down and going to read them now. This I week. appeal to you therefore, brethren, and beg of you in the view of all the mercies of God to make a decision, dedication of your bodies, presenting all your members and faculties as a living sacrifice, holy, devoted, consecrated, and well-pleasing to God, which is your reasonable, rational, intelligent service and spiritual worship. Okay. You've got to put you up on the altar. I know you want your husband to be changed. You want your wife to change. Uh-uh. Put your own self up on that altar and say, first burn me, God. First take away my attitudes. Take away those things that are ugly. My habits. My mouth. Some of you need a healing in your mouth. You need to get your mouth saved because you're saying stupid things. And you can't retract words. You got to ask God to set a watch before your mouth in these 21 days and don't say things that are detrimental to your circumstance or to your situation. You need to get your mouth healed. 21 days, you have an opportunity to do that. Set a watch before your mouth. Fasting prepares you for a fresh anointing. In this Romans 12, 2, be it says, but be transformed. Be transformed. If you remember last week, I told you that transformation is metafufu in Greek. That's a crazy word. Metafufu, say it. Metafufu. Say it again. Metafufu. Yeah. In Greek, it just means a total turnaround. Be transformed. Be changed by the renewal of your mind. Okay? Your mind is going to be changed in these 21 days if you allow it. If you allow the Holy Spirit to invade your mind, he will change it. You don't have to change it. Are you willing to have a mind change? How many are willing? Or you might think you have a good mind. Every day there should be a transformation of your mind, that your mind is more like his mind and less like yours. Amen? Amen. Fasting is a tremendous weapon and a source of power. How long, how much, when? Let me say this to you. Joshua fasted for 40 days. Daniel, 21 days. Paul, at least three days, sometimes 14 days. Peter, three days at a time. Jesus, 40 days. Fort Myers Christian Outreach Center, 21 days. That's you. Say, that's me. Now, there are different types of fasts. You've got to make up your mind which one you're going to do. We have an absolute fast, which, believe me, is hard. And unless the Holy Spirit appears to you, no food, no water. We don't suggest that. 
unless God shows up himself and tells you. That's an absolute fast. Then there's what we call a normal fast, where you drink water, no food part-time, broth, juices, okay? And that's so that you could remain strong. Those of you that work need to have that replenishment. Then there's a partial fast, which is sun up to sundown, which means that you get up and you have your juice, okay? You don't eat anything. You drink your water with lemon all day, and then sundown, you have a meal. Got that? Sun up to sundown. Then the most common partial fast is a Daniel fast. How many do a Daniel's fast? Now, you've got three weeks, so you could do three different kinds, as long as it's a sacrifice to the Lord. No meats, no sweets, just vegetables and water. No bread. Fruit, vegetables, soups, and water. What are you going to commit to? I gave you that sheet. What are you going to commit to? You've got to commit to something. So I just gave you the three, four, five different fasts. Okay? Normal fast, drink water, no food part-time, broth and juices to maintain strength. A partial fast, fast, sun up, sun down. Most common is the Daniel fast. No meats, no sweets, no bread. Vegetables, soups, water, and fruit. Do you know the break you're giving your body when you're doing this? You're cleansing all the toxins out of your system, okay? And the, the break you're giving your brain, your mind, is being relieved of oppression and stress. This is a very, very healthy time for us. Hallelujah. I trust you've enjoyed this teaching today. Absolutely. It was a lot to digest. Yes. But it works. Absolutely. It absolutely works. Yes. And if you adhere to it, you will see a change, a turnaround, a transformation in your life and the life of those that you love. Pastor James, who is on staff here, he's a, the pastor in Judah. He's a pastor over the flock. He's over the men. I mean, he's a chief cook and bottle washer here. <laughs> And we so appreciate you. Thanks. Now, you're a faster, you and your wife and your family. Tell me, what happens when you fast? I'm so glad you asked that, Pastor. Listen, first of all, let me say two things come to mind yeah. when we start our fasting for this new year. First and foremost, it's starting the year out the right way. Okay. Because so many times we go into the new year, we talk about these new resolutions that we make and all this kind of stuff. But I think it's important that we reestablish the connection okay. that throughout the year sometimes get, gets mogged down because of all the life things yes. that happen. Yes. So fasting, what it does initially, it helps to reconnect so that, that to reestablish that connect that oneness with God yes. and because it's the first of the year it starts you out with the right mindset right. Right. so for me first of all it's just wonderful because it, it gets my mindset focused back on who it should be focused purpose. absolutely yeah. and that's about being what he's called me to be and yes. doing what he's called me to do during this time so yes. first and foremost fasting just gets me refocused yes I can let go of all the stuff all the things from last year all the things that bogged us down yes. so that takes me there and then it just helps me to not only t to commission God but to step back during this time because I've sacrificed and I'm giving something food away and when, you, when we know that when we give away food it causes the body to you know yeah. to react sometimes yeah, right. so because of that it allows me to sit back not only to petition God Got your attention. but it allows me to sit back for a moment right. and to hear what he's saying to me that's beautiful you see the world does it yes the world does it they made their resolutions already yes they have i imagine you know we're only a week into this Absolutely. they're probably already cracked and broke quite a few of them they try have. very yeah they try very hard yes. they have the good initiative to do it you know okay new year new resolutions yes. exercise diet but because it has no foundation that's it, it that's falls it. apart that's it, it falls apart but we have the foundation of the word of god yes and that's what keeps us going forward and we've been promised if we do this then God responds. Absolutely. Amen. Just like you teach us, Pastor, the word says, not if, but when 
when you fast. fast. That's right. When so you fast. being obedient to what God has yeah. said. And Maybe. when you give. Yes. Yeah. And when you pray. Come on. Absolutely. Jesus was just so exact in the direction, the instruction. For what? He doesn't want us to just be deprived of food. No. These things bring the miracles. Amen. You need a miracle. Absolutely. You need a breakthrough. Well, I'm telling you something. This formula works. It does. It works. Absolutely. It works, Pastor James. Now, Pastor James, you also have a phenomenal program on Sunday night yes. at? It comes on 10 o'clock on Sunday nights. 11, it comes on 11 o'clock on, on right Saturday here, nights. On this right here on this station. And uh, time of refreshing. If you enjoy just being in the presence of God, good gospel music, great guests. Tune in because God is doing great things on that show as well. So we really appreciate you being a part of that as well. Thank you. And also you have a radio program, but you just don't shut down. God is a phenomenal God. Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. from 11 to 1 o'clock. It's 107.7 FM right here in Southwest Florida. You can also find us on the web at um, Aviva Radio. That's A-V-I-V-A Radio 107.com. You can hear us anywhere in the world. Listen, God is doing great things. He promised that we'd be a voice for him to the world, yes. and he's doing it. Amen. 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 We appreciate you. Pastor, so appreciate I appreciate you. being here. Love love it. It. I love worshiping with you, You're Pastor. You're a committed, consistent person. Thank it's you, a Pastor. virtue. Amen. It's a virtue. Now, if you would like more instruction about the fast, yes. give us a call right there online, and we will, right now, you can call the number on your screen, and we'll send you a whole DVD or CD of the teaching that went on here. Also, if you'd like a tallit, we made that offer available to our folks. You know, they're $30. We can order them, you know, in groups here at the church, and you could be included in that. Above all, do something. If you can't fast 21, Thank maybe you. 14, maybe 7, Amen. even two or three days, try it. Yes. It works. Come in agreement with the Holy Spirit, and He will transform your life. Hey, I just want to remind you that next Sunday, January the 18th, my good friend Richard Roberts Amen. is coming here on Fowler Street. Yes. Coming so anointed and ready Amen. to set you free and ready to get rid of that diabetes and those heart Come problems and that pain in your back and the pain Amen. in your neck and the pain in your head. Pain runs when Richard Roberts comes on board here. Getting me excited, Pastor. Yeah. Getting me excited. Next week. Woo. Next week at 10 o'clock. So bring your family, bring your friends, come expecting. He's going to pray on everyone here yes. will be prayed for. So don't miss it. Hey, until we see you again, be blessed, highly favored, and empowered, empowered to, to prosper. prosper.